Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Gemology for Schmucks. My name is Peter Nelson, and I'm here to guide you in everything you need to know about gemstones. One of the most frequent emails that I get from all of you wonderful people and comments on all of the videos is, where can I get references for gemstones? I need information on this, I need information on that. I'm like, whoa, 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 pump your brakes. Google is your friend. I understand you might not trust Google, but I trust Google. I mean, as much as I trust anyone. But if you don't trust Google and you instead prefer worthy gemological knowledge coming from a book, then what I would suggest is starting with this book right here, which I won't show you just yet. Now, what you need to keep in mind is this book right here is older than I am. It came out right before I was born. And so we need to take everything that we see in this book with a certain grain of salt. Does that mean that there's information that is wrong? No, perhaps not. But science is a process of exploration, right? So keep in mind that many of the things that you will read in here are a foundation for information going forward. There are some things in here that may be expanded upon, quite likely, especially in the area of treatments. The more we learn about new things, the wider our field of vision. They help us to see things that we thought we understood in a different light. So, scientific philosophy aside, let's get into the book. This book is Handbook of Gem Identification by Richard T. Lydico. This is one of the founding fathers of modern gemology and one of the most important people in GIA's history. So this book is put out by GIA. The circulation of it may be a little bit difficult, but if you hop on Amazon, I'm sure that you can find a secondhand copy that's been well loved. Now this book is great because it is a foundation of the characteristics of gemstones as well as giving you reference information for specific gemstones while you're practicing identification. If you have this and you have the basic gemological tools that I talk about on this channel, you will be able to take great strides without ever setting foot in a classroom. Now, I would definitely suggest going and getting an education, but if you don't have the time and you want to take some steps right now, today, then I would suggest getting this book, giving it a read through, and practicing with the instruments. Once you're competent with the instruments, the more you learn, the wider you feel the vision, and you too can become a fantastic gemologist. But the reason that I think it's important is because there is a lot of information that's compiled in charts here that can be used as a reference. So for the price of the book, having all of that reference information compiled in one place is quite useful, especially if you're looking at a yellow stone and going, which one is it? This book actually has chapters specifically on yellow stones. How can we delineate the tests to rule aside this stone or that stone and finally get to the actual stone that it is. Running out of coffee. So anyway, it's not the end all and be all, but I will say that it's a fantastic start. So if you're in a book buying and book reading mood, then I would suggest getting yourself a copy of this. And until then, hang out on my channel because I have lots of tutorials that will show you things that stale pictures from 1987 will not do. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Hit like, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Otherwise, you can head over to gemshepherd.com and contact me directly. Otherwise, until next time, bye-bye.